Now you can go from four thousandths all the way up to three eighths thick. Real thin sheet metal. This right here is about twenty gauge. All right, now instead of buttoning it together, give yourself about a sixteenth to one eighth gap. You allow that steel to breathe. We'll use just a copper coated mild steel rod in these seventy S series right here. You're still on your four pounds of oxyacetylene. All right, now steel has a little higher melting temperature, so all we're going to do right here is make that cone just a little bit longer. All right, now I'm also going to show you a little easier way to weld with it. Normally, you heat the metal, dip the rod in and out, just like we did on the aluminum. Here with the steel, if you'll take that rod and lay it right on the metal, take that little cone and just walk up the rod, wait for it to melt, wash it right back into the puddle. Now try not to let that rod pull away. Just keep it pushed into the edge of the puddle. Try and get both of your hands comfortable when you're welding. Just take that little cone, walk up the rod. Just always make sure it's melting. Now, it don't make a difference how dirty, oily, greasy, rusty. You can do a nice gap weld. You can weld vertical, lateral. Just walking up the rod, make sure it's melting. All right, you get very little metal movement. Very nice weld, 100% penetration. Stick it in the water. Now, water and steel don't, don't go real good together. Now, you can come back, you can hammer weld, shape, form, and move that metal, and it's just not going anywhere. Very little to grind off right here. Very little distortion. All right, guys, we're getting ready to weld some quarter-inch steel right here. Now, I've also beveled. Remember, anything over one-eighth of an inch, you want to bevel, you're going to have to use a thicker rod. This is a one-eighth E70S. You can use your stick electrode, 7018, 6010, 6011. Just knock the flux off. Remember, welding thick metal, got to use a thicker rod for it. Now, on thick metal, remember, we're going to have to preheat. You have to go in and preheat it real good, get both edges red before we start. Check out these new leather gloves. They're a leather fabricator. Brand new at Cobra Torches. These are sweet. One of the most comfortable pair of gloves that I've ever put on my hands and I've welded most of my life. You might want to get you a pair of these. All right, bring your torch in. We've got the number two tip, two rings. All right, what you want to do, that cone right there is too small. So thick metal, you're going to have to make that flame a little bit hotter, guys. Remember that steel melts a little over 2,000 degrees, neutral flame. Hold it like a TIG on thick metal, you're going to have to use some gloves. All right, so we're going to come in and preheat that metal. Remember the thicker, the larger, the bigger, the more preheat you have to put into it. All right, now you got to get both edges right here where they're actually starting to melt. All right, lay the rod in, you let it melt. Now you hold the heat on that rod and watch it sink to the bottom. Come back, add a little bit more rod to it. You can keep adding that filler rod. You gotta hold the heat a little bit longer to allow that molten metal to float to the bottom. So you're gonna hold the heat longer than what you're accustomed to. Now actually watch that puddle floating to the bottom. You can see it sink down, come back, add a little bit more rod to fill it up, give you the proper height that you want on your rod. All right, come back, a little bit more rod, a little circular motion, let it heat, sink to the bottom. Come back, fill it up, let it sink in. Steel, you're gonna go a whole lot slower on. Again, if it looks like it's melting too fast, cut the heat down a little bit. Make that cone a little smaller, or if it's not melting, make it a little bit longer. We're about perfect right here. Right, when you get to the end, you'll have to apply a little more rod, keep from it cratering out. Come back and pull off of it. Now, if you have some indentions, you can go back and make a little pass. If you didn't get the penetration you want, you can flip it over and do it again.